Hello, this is David from Jumpman Gaming, and we are about to play my personal favorite game, Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. Also here with me is... Waluigi! Yeah, this should be Waluigi 2! Waluigi's Rage! Yes, I'm here with Waluigi, and I hope everyone enjoys the sound of his succulent voice. He's purple, so he's a sex bomb, like me! Yep, Spyro's the biz sex bomb you'll ever meet in your entire besides life. Besides me! Yes, besides Waluigi. We understand yeah. you're very popular in the sex culture. Yeah. Alright, so anyway, this game takes place in the world of Avalar. And, uh, yeah, that's all I really gotta say about this. I just know this is my favorite game of all time, ever. Anything you gotta say? Me? No, but I have something to say. I have to say, truthfully, what if Spyro went where he would have wanted to go, and he and, and Captain Falcon instead ended up in this timeline when, at this world? That would be S Captain Falcon to Ripto's Paunch. You like the sound of that? I think that'd be a pretty good game. I mean, think about it. You just run around as Captain Falcon collecting gems, going, "Oh, here's." I mean, come on, that'd be pretty. Cool. To be honest, that might be possibly Game of the Year edition right there of 1999, I think this game was made in. I have no idea. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'll probably check that up at some point. Um, let's see. Then we could have Captain Falcon Bandicoot. Hmm. You know what? I like that. On the subject of Crash Bandicoot, people have to fix him. He's been messed up for too long. And I know you have a big rant about this, so... I'll, I'll let you rant about this, because I'm more of a Spyro than Crash. You can hate me for that. I don't really care. Do you want to do your Spyro rant first? No, I, well, yeah. As I'm not sure if any of you know this, but Spyro has been butchered throughout modern day. Skylanders. Skylanders is a perfect example. You have to buy action figures so you can play the game, which is probably one of the stupidest ideas. Don't even go there. It's one of the stupidest ideas I've ever heard of. I mean, they should have just stuck to the three orig the original formula of the first three games, which was Spyro the Dragon, this game, and then Spyro. Th no, that that, that <laughs> game, that, that no, game might have. That game's bad. Yeah, it was bad. Like I I know probably you're like, oh, it was a good game, but personally, I didn't like it. They Spyro looked way too awkward. It's as good as Crash of the Titans is good. Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's mostly my rant, to be honest. I mean, like, he was butchered. They destroyed his gameplay. They made him look absolutely horrible. But uh, here's the bigger point. Let's uh, go over to Bill and uh, see his rant about Crash Bandicoot. I think. Ah, Nina, Nigga, pancakes. Only a few of the words that Crash has ever said. But really, what is the problem here? That he's a big piece of shit now. Not him personally, but his games. Crash of the Titans, Mind Over Mutant. Mind Over Mutant was hilarious, and Crash of the Titans was pretty funny, but that's not the point. I want the original Crash back, the one that Naughty Dog made. The one they created, they made, and they, well, you know, lost the rights to. I think we should start a petition. And I'm completely serious about this. If anybody wants to sign this petition to get the classic Crash back, anybody, just contact me. Because I seriously think this would work. And, you know, you know, Waluigi, I think, would approve of this. I think, at least. I'm not really sure if he's a big fan. But I do know he's a fan of Spyro. And if you like Waluigi and if you like Spyro, do it for Crash. No one likes Waluigi. What? What the hell do you mean? Everybody loves me. Everybody loves my nipples. Yeah. Oh, and I like to stick stick rackets up my ass. We're not going there. We are not going there. Yeah. We'll snort your anthrax. So, would you like to explain anything about this? Alright, well, I'll explain the basic controls. Um, but basically, the square button you'll charge. The X button you'll jump, but if you click it again, you'll start gliding. And in the middle of your gliding, you can triangle, you'll hover a little bit, give you a little extra height at the end of your glide. Circles breathe fire, and the uh, you know the D-pad will or the joystick will just move you around. R2 and L2 will rotate the camera, and that's it. This is we well not 
we, but me, will be going for a 100% playthrough of this game, which I have done before, and I will do it all over again, because I love this game so much. Now, I just want to say here, you cannot, cannot 100% this level first time around. You have to wait until you beat the second world, so you can be able to climb ladders, so you can fly around and glimmer. Bullshit. Waluigi did it. Well, there is a glitchy thing, but I think that was only in the original, so I'm not even gonna try going. Waluigi used Game Shark. Waluigi win. Use Game Shark on a PlayStation game? Yeah. How'd that work out? Pretty good, you know. Game Shark, PS One. I'm gonna have to get myself one of those then. They're uh, sixty dollars. But if you buy it at Jesus Mark today, it's nineteen ninety-nine. Looks like where I'm going today, I'm going to idiot. Not idiot. <laughs> In <laughs> idiot. India. No offense uh, to anyone I might have offended there. Uh, no, I'm seriously. going to India to go to Jesus Mart. Because Jesus Mart is the place where you can buy anything and is sold by Doslam. And uh, money bags, apparently. And money bags. Because money bags is probably the biggest dick. Dick, the dick asshole you will ever see in this entire series for one reason. You're saving his life and world, and basically, he's making you pay to save his ass, and it's mind-blowing how anyone would do that. Actually, now that I think about it, that must make Cranky Kong the biggest douchebag ever. He makes Diddy Kong and Donkey Kong buy items. He does? Yeah. What, did he, what game was that? Uh, Donkey Kong 64. Uh, I never and that you're trying to save the world, and he's just this douchebag, and he's like, I'm making lab potions. Pay me. Well, it makes you pay in the new one, Donkey Kong Country Returns. Is that what it's called? Right? Yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, it makes you pay in like, I don't even know, bananas. You, that, no. Uh, banana coins. Banana coins. Banana phones. They made a complete coin out of a hundred percent pure potassiumized banana. So if you eat it, you'll get some. Get a really bad tummy ache, probably shit your pants, but it'll be all worth it. Wait, 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 wait. What? You'll shit your pants if you eat the banana coin. But bananas make you have to take a shit? No, just the banana coin. Oh, okay. They good. had an x lax Well, you know what? To be honest, I, I don't know why they would ever make money out of this. I hope society never comes to the point where they make money out of bananas, because... I already have, David. I don't know. Where have you been? You know, I'm not even going to go there. Uh, so anyway, yeah, this is the first time you get an orb in the game. You have to light all the lampposts, and this guy is like, is Oh, by the way. Oh, yes, he is actually a pimp. He is. Oh my god. Just look how cool he is. He's got a, he's like a little mouse with a little miner's helmet. Oh my god, he's awesome. He, uh, I don't know his name, to be honest. I always like to call him, uh, I like to call him Bob. Yeah, Bob. No, but seriously, what would you like to call him? I like to call him Jim, to be honest. Which isn't very far from Bob. Are we being serious here? I'm being serious. I was showing, uh, I was showing other people the game. Yeah. And they're like, who's that? And I'm like, it's Jim. When do we get to see my favorite character? That will be around next episode, to be honest. Or maybe the one after that. Or the one after that. I really don't want to... What's Dragon Ball Z all of a sudden? It takes like 25 episodes just to get somewhere? Well, you know, I'm gonna try and do it in two minutes, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That means two. Yes, it does. And uh, if you haven't noticed, we have a fourth commentator here. We have Frieza, <laughs> Waluigi, <laughs> me, and Bill. <laughs> I have sexy nipples. Yeah, Waluigi has very sexy nipples. They gyrate. Just like Captain Falcon. And they speak to me. What do they say? They tell me things. What do they tell you? They tell me horrible things. Like they what? They tell me how at night the boogeyman's going to rape me, and that they tell me no way the boogeyman is my nipples. So your nipples are going to eat you. That's what I'm getting. My close. nipples are going to caress me until they blow up, and then I'm going to have to go to the emergency room, and then we get no new Mario Tennis, because Waluigi's the main character of those games. It's Waluigi Tennis. They just slap Mario on it so everyone will buy it. I, I highly doubt that. No, really. Right, Same with this game. Waluigi's in it. Where? Where is this? I've played this game many times. No, 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 you have been looking hard enough. I'm there. Where? Can you? Can you give me a hint? Um, final level. The final level. Is that like the final boss or the 
final level. Final level. I'm around. You can talk to me, and I give you I give you a racket. You go beat the shit out of Ripto with it. Why would I do that when I can breathe fire? Cause it's more satisfying. You never shoved a racket up somebody's ass. No, I I can't say I have. Come I on, that that's pretty kinky. 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 Says who? Me! Can you get anyone to back you up on this? Oh, <laughs> I can! Okay, you know what? Fuck off, Risa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little bit scared right now. Yeah, I know. There is two homos- Well, you know, one of them is definitely a homosexual. The other one is a pedophile. You can make the choice yourself, viewer. Ho <laughs> ho! I bet I'm the pedophile. You're, you're the gay one. <laughs> what? I am Frieza! I have two of everything. Everything. Maybe. Okay, you know what? I have two boats, though. He didn't have that. He had an arc. I have two arcs. <laughs> Why? You only need one. Why would you need an arc? You're on a planet with three suns. I have two suns. Suns is in suns, or like suns is in like both. I have two suns and two suns. How do you own two suns? Easy. Mama Frieza popped them out. No, the other kind of sons, like the sons with the, the U. Oh. That's a longer story. Mama Frieza popped them out of her uterus. And we got two sons. Uh, you're making you're making me have nightmares tonight. Oh, I already had those. I really don't want to comment. Does anybody you have my lubricant? No, I'm never, seriously missing that. I'm never commentating with you two ever again. Why not? Ever. Because one of you is a pedophile, the other one just talks about his gyrating nipples and tennis rackets. Frieza, I think he's talking about you. No, he's talking about you, moron! See, I, I hate dealing with this kind of shit. I'm sexy, though. You can't get rid of Waluigi! Wanna see me try and get rid of you? Yeah! Well, I can tell you this. I just canceled your new game. Waru, I just left. Ah, uh, bitch. Oh, thank God. Wait, where'd Frieza go? Uh, I, I think he went to go blow up a planet in, like, seven hours. You all suck! You know that? I don't even have my game anymore! You all suck! Yeah, see, that's Waluigi. He's a little... He's a little pissy. He's a little pissy when he's not happy. Yeah. Could you explain to me what's going on here? Oh, okay, well, I'm pretty sure that I haven't been talking about the game. Me or <laughs> No, and, no, we uh, talk about Waluigi way too much. Alright, so basically this was them. We, uh, got, uh, we saved Glimmer from all the invading lizards who were stealing their gems. We came back to Summer Forest and we're like, oh, hey, uh, what's happening here? And Fiona's explained to us that, um, Moneybag is the mayor, I'm assuming, because he gets kicked out of that building, uh, building every single time we come here. Um... Uh, Every single time. Every single time. The guy gets can't you know fend for himself. He gets kicked out of the same fucking building every time. Every building. Like he just can't like stay. Wait, the same building. Not the same building. Oh, okay. I was gonna say. Oh, he's not. He's pretty much sucks ass. I mean, he gets kicked out of every building he goes to. What's the sign say? Like no, no shoes, no shirt, no, no money bags, no service. Mm, yeah, that sounds about right. All right, so. Basically, when those uh, signs up, it says Ripto's there, and you have to go to the boss area by collecting all the talismans and all the levels, and get it, and then you'll open up the boss door, you'll go to the boss, and ta-da! You get to the next world. What boss is first? We have Crush, then Gulp, and then Ripto. And no, it's a pretty short game, but I still love it. Is, is this playthrough going to be shorter than mine? Yeah, this will definitely be shorter, but it might be a little bit like, longer. Like, bosses of variety, I just fight Bowser three times. Ah, uh, well. Well, you'll see what we do next time, so this is Dave, signing out. And this is Bill, see you later, everybody. Don't forget to watch my next playthrough, get ready, comment, like, subscribe, all those fun stuff, jazz hands. Luigi, do it, now! Don't do it for him, don't do it for him, don't, stop. Love.